Good morning, everyone. Uh, so today they're going to be talking about, uh, well, the conference is called, um, uh, oh, stop, oh, never mind. It's, it's about uh, the finding the, uh, the lost students. And um, it, it's talking about making justice and um, this will make uh, the people happy or something like that. <laughs> I don't recall. It's in the title. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start now. Good morning. And you can notice he's wearing a gray shirt. Bueno, el día de hoy vamos so a today we are going to be dealing uh, with the investigation that is taking place in order to find the resting place of the 43 youth of Yotzinapa. We have been in a meeting padres, with the parents, mamás, the papás, mothers and jóvenes. the fathers of the, of the youth. Hemos veces and we have been there several times ellos. in communication Tenemos with them. And we have the commitment of finding these youth. Es una prioridad it's a priority of this government. Se está todo we are doing everything Se requiere, that se is required, that is needed. Es, eh, el en su conjunto, el que it's está the government in conjunction that is no participating. Obstáculo, there is no obstacle, no eh, limitation. Está Everyone's La participating. De Defensa, the Secretary of Defense. They're presenting eh, information. information eh, las instalaciones at the no installations where before they visitar, didn't used to permit to visit have been opened up los padres, to the parents, a los abogados, a to los the attorneys, to the investigators. Y, eh, and ahora vamos a now we are going to inform regarding the, st la, the state eh, or the status of the pues investigation. Sí, I offered at the last interview that we uh, said uh, with the parents that we would be meeting today and we put on these uh, t-shirts to comply with that and they gave me these t-shirts and they asked me to to put it on and that is why I am dressed like this it's a matter that's fundamental for the government of the Republic that we can clarify the acts and find the youth that have disappeared and make justice. There is no, I repeat, no limitation. No there is no impunity for anyone and we are working in collaboration with the district attorney of uh, general of the uh, republic and I expect that soon we will have results because they are, we are attending matters well, and we are working in a professional way. And now Alexander will inform us. And, and uh, uh, guarding the respect of the district attorney because he is on the case and he can inform us all regarding how this process is going. So we're going to start with Alejandro now. Con su autorización, señor presidente. 
Bueno, hoy, al cumplirse el quinto aniversario, so de this is hechos, the fifth anniversary of the, uh, of the lamentable act of those, the disappearance of those no young people. Today we're going to give a rendition of accounting. So today we will transmit via the uh, public system a documentary of how the, an interview that is being done uh, based on the on what they're doing on the investigation and on their system, and that we're going to be using the public media uh, to to make this uh, matter a a realization of accounting and radio education at, at 1600 and at uh, somewhere else at 1830, 21, at 1930, and Univision is 2100, and Channel 14 at 2200. Uh, so they appreciate the, um, so they're going to show you the presentation. Here is what it looks like. Because we're alive and they called us. I am making a commitment with you. I'm going to write a decree that they will take an investigation. I don't understand that there's a disappearance. I just know my son is gone. They, they, I'm looking for him with all my the love in the world. And this is where the parents went to. As a mother, there's a piece of my heart missing. We will go to the last final consequences to find what happened to our son. 41, Justice, Commission for the Truth and Access to Justice. It's a very uh, brief synthesis to show the very important participation of the parents. And so today we're going to present from the beginning and we're going to reserve the information that um, has to do with the judicial uh, and the operatives that have, obviously we have to hold back that stuff, but let's signal uh, that we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, memory. So this is where the uh, president met uh, the 26th uh, September, where he established the commitment uh, uh, to, to go. on the 3rd of December he met with them and decreed here in uh, National, uh, the, I'm sorry, the 3 of December, where they decreed, they created a commission for the case of Yosinata by via a national pre, a decree president. On January uh, 15th, they, um, they installed the commission um, on the 15th of January to try and find out where those children wound up, their young people. It's an extraordinary mechanism that where the federal and the um, and Hacienda and um, and the representatives of the parents all work in conjunction, their own parents and uh, mothers and fathers, and the human rights, the office, and uh, united uh, human rights. One of the things the president said that we are not only open to international scrutiny, but also to the support and also support of these international agencies, for which reason? And on the 11th of March, we signed the first commitment with the uh, Inter-American uh, Company of Human Rights. We'll be forming the part of the in investigation, and it will integrate a group of uh, technical accessories 
renovado and they will renew uh, uh, with the uh, national, uh, international agency of human rights and the united nations and, these, and they're involved in the investigation. As part of these uh, meetings, they've created a, a group where two of the previous uh, have already found themselves incorporated to the job of investigating. And in the next few days, with the Office of uh, uh, Human Rights, it will do its own with the, there will be no restriction for the participation in all the works of investigation and the planning and investigation that is being done in this case. We want to point out some of the uh, things that have been happening. On the 28th of March, the uh, Supreme Court Justice of the Nation, they, they stopped that the, um, the states that the previous government had put so that they couldn't do the research and so that they could have a commission for the, the justice. They had put more than 200 stays in order to prevent the people from finding out all uh, what was happening with those young people. So we've just uh, stopped those so that there would be no limitation, no obstacles, legislative, judicial, to the uh, uh, investigation. We let people know about the meetings with the Inter-American uh, uh, Union of Rights, Human Rights, to start the uh, investigation. And I want to point out the last meeting with the ex-functionaries of the government of Guerrero. We had two meetings of work with Angela Aguirre, the, the procurer Iñaki Blanco, and six people of the section of uh, public and the section of uh, government in the, who were in, at that time in the office. On, on Tuesday, they will be amplifying their declarations in the Republic, particularly what's referring to the investigation that the uh, that what they did during the first six days after the occurrence. Uh, was there a, because there was an omissive in, uh, information and they did not incorporate the fundamental aspects of the investigation that should have been done at, in the, that is realized by the general uh, procurement of the Republic. I want to point out also that the meetings were uh, done with the uh, District Attorney of the Republic since uh, January of 2019, uh, and at about one month when it was installed on February 7th, it was not just a creation of a special investigation, but to share all the lines of investigation that were left inconclusive and that were prom uh, moved by the commission. And it's got to do with the uh, shining a light by the district attorney that has to do with the uh, proposals by its own commission. <clears throat> and they've been evaluated. So on the 26th of June, when they took the uh, made the agreement so that this unit of investigation would posteriorly, which on the 28th of June, uh, took into effect the investigation with the uh, with the support of the district attorney and the parents have support of the whole presidential committee and then the next fiscal general of the uh, district attorney in agreement with the parents of the family and the president realized on the 18th of September where the conclusion is to advance in an integral part of the investigation 
and putting it out and underlining the contradiction, the omissions, the follow, the not the, what they did not do to, to find the information, where they also <clears throat> let go of the responsibility of those authorities and omission and illegal practices that uh, has been by public opinion inclusively and, and also by certain parts of the government that were that possibly uh, uh, practices of torture for some of the detained. So the federal government of the Republic, the meeting are celebrated with the Secretary of Defense and the 27th um, of uh, June, and they had an open debate and dialogue without any restriction of any nature, and we established commitments that were very, even the opening of the installation that was in the uh, city of Iguala, the interchange of information, the disposition of the, all the elements of the battalion that were, that when they were in the installations and at the same time and then the, the work of searching for the people. So all the questions have been responded to, and they are forming part of some of the investigations on the part of the uh, specialized union. And a very um, significant aspect, which was the 24th of July, the parents of the family, we came in, and we, with the parents, we went in and walked through that area where there was no limitation to enter into any of the uh, installations, the dormitories, all the areas uh, that the uh, Center of Intelligence where they, they, they believe they've um, cleared up some of the doubts. And you can see in the documentary, which is the installation that was previous to where the um, intelligence agency said, and other areas that have been fundamental and very important is what we've had with the protection of citizens, where for the first time we are having access to all the information that was derived regarding what the police had and the preventative um, maintenance that was done during that occurrence of those investigations. And those that had defined the responsibility for the preventative measures, and these people, these were not incorporated in the uh, previous investigation, even though there was accusations by uh, form, uh, part of the delinquency. And this information that was omitted from the group of coordination Guerrero that was articulating all these federal uh, articulations during those days and that is now, are now forming part of the documents and have been given to the district attorney general uh, special. Uh, there's a committee of a scientific assessor by the uh, president that they've got the geo department of Conocid and they've been doing a job that was had been abandoned these are the things of investigation that where we started by uh, took all the information that had been uh, been, uh, so they had uh, done something, looks like they had taken the information from where they, they had been, been looking unearthing places that had been stopped. There was more than 200 clandestine uh, burial pots with many bodies, where 44 have been identified, none. None of them were 
to any of those children that had disappeared. So I did a uh, fundamental part is the analysis of all the uh, calls that were done in this whole region, not just the days of the, uh, the days of the call, but also the days after, because um, they're trying to see. So, so if the use of the kids that were missing the uh, days after they were missing, this scientific group has done an, has done the investigation of eighty thousand calls, where they have identified two hundred calls of interest that so they found 8400 and several numbers that they identified <clears throat> a minute by minute call but i cannot give you any details but we do have certainty of how they realized by the uh, uh, illicit groups and that at no moment was there contact on behalf of the, any of student with any group uh, that was involved with any, ba um, how should I say, uh, illicit groups. So this happened in the municipal in the municipality of Iguala, and that's all he can say about that. So we've integrated a multidisciplinary uh, uh, council uh, with the Republic, and they are helping uh, the forensics that are specialists in forensics on an international level, and we have uh, uh, laboratories to, in order to take all the analysis and pieces of, uh, that are existent on the things that they find in this search. And in a very concrete way, we've done this uh, operation. And in a punctual way, we've, we've done eight operatives on the, on the eight, after 48 days of searching in Cocula. Mes okay, so he's naming all those. So, Iguala, Huitz, Cucu, Mezcala, Tepequilco, operatives in process. And in total, 210 points of search and revision, dil uh, judicial um, diligence in process. Uh, and the second. Um, so it looks like they found quite a few investigations are developing La Parota, Fosos de Iguala Información, 180 points in these regions. This was a public dominion. So there's quite a few on that list. And, and Huitzuco, which is still in process, and the operation that is now taking place, which is public dominion in Tepacul. I want to signal that they be uh, realized at more than 130 points of search. And so, I want you to know that we are following with four judicial agencies for people that are, uh, people that are involved with these uh, acts. So this was just so that you'll know the operation that we did last week. Uh, it was Friday and up to Sunday with a support that was very important by the um, district attorney or district general of the Republic, the commission. They've been uh, looking in the uh, trash of the <laughs> In particular, we're taking, uh, re following up the aspects that I believe are very important uh, for this investigation. We need that the people help us to help us find true justice 
And we are trying, we, we will give 500,000 to those people who would give us true and verifiable information as to where these uh, young people had disappeared. And particularly, re, re, we will give 10 million to who will tell us will give us the one of, one of the uh, people that were involved in the uh, they're looking for the guy the main guy and they're giving 10 million pesos for him uh, and 1 million 500 for any uh, of the students to be found um, information on them it'll be from, so we hope that you'll be giving us results so they've gotten a big fun together and so now they're going to let him talk Buenos días. Hello, Buenos días, señor presidente, Mr. President and Subsecretary. We appreciate that you uh, made a, to, a, to the district attorney to come to the investigation of Guatemala. Before anything, I want to say hello to respectfully to the family and the parents of the of the of the young people, and it's a day that marks the history of this country and five years since your children have been missing. As you know, the 26th of June this year, the district attorney came to an agreement that creates unity, specialized for the investigation and litigation of this case of Guatzinalpa, and we're invading, uh, I'm glad for the invitation. And as of that day, we've been working strongly to put a series of clear questions regarding this case in Guatemala. And all that action and investigation and uh, files regarding uh, investigation previously, which gave us a global and integral uh, view of the investigation regarding what happened the 26th of September, as also the uh, the first phase where they started to make an investigation in the state of Guerrero and then by the Republic. The following week, we will begin to cite all those people, uh, public uh, officials that at that time had a charge to render their declarations before our panel. This unit will begin the next week uh, the ex-governor, the ex-procurator, and the secretary of uh, uh, public health. And we will immediately be uh, uh, putting the federal, uh, also the uh, police that had any contact with those young people on those days. This reinitiation of this investigation will touch and will bring all those people that form part of the municipal, state, and federal agencies of that time. As the, as the subsecretary Encinas, subsecretary Encinas, in the last three months, we have, since I've been in charge of this unit, nine processes of a search investigation with a fine, final uh, goal to find the end uh, resting place of these students or their final uh, happening. We expect to, as soon as we have a result, we will give information to society. We are going to start with the first person that had uh, contact with this. Um, we, as a district attorney, we will not cover or not hide any of those complicities that were involved. We are, are investigating, uh, investigating uh, 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 bad treatment and torture that was done to people, and we're going to be giving uh, giving you the results on these investigations that we are doing. We are taking all, every line of in investigation of the information from the uh, inter uh, independent groups that were working in 
2015 and 2016 regarding this case, the um, information from the uh, high charge of uh, human rights and human rights, all commissions and all of them, of the three levels of government and all those authorities and groups that had any participating in the in the uh, acts, uh, actions of that day, and also to reiterate and signal that the unit which I am heading, no one is above the law, and it, it, the law in function will find the truth regarding the actions that happened that day and that the justice that the families are searching for regarding the uh, events of that day. Well, yes. This is the matter for today, the topic, and we'll open up for questions. Hello. She's from Indigo, Sanchez. If you've already, how, how happened that? Um, so, um, did you guys, all the proof that we have gotten, they have not discharged any line of investigation, but they're talking about another uh, dumping ground that they're, they're, they've looked in one dumping ground and did not find any there. As I've said from the beginning, we are submitted. The only truth, they have not found any truth yet. From Guerrero, uh, in Guerrero, yesterday we found out a piece of information from an interview that was done to a leader from the crack that is in prison where he uh, sent a document to the President of the Republic and he said that he has information uh, important regarding where the uh, bodies are found and that you already know this information and that he asked for security for himself and his family and three presumptive implicated in the disappearance of the students. Sin embargo, eh, but, be, la, but even so, él el, he el, el says that the government would have to give security eh, so that he, go, he could say where they are found, los, los cuerpos, the bodies, y que están en un and lugar that they are in a place dominated by supuesto, organized crime. Of course, yes. Con esta persona, que no es el principal informante. Uh, we have had contact with him. We have had uh, information with the. We know we do have a uh, operative uh, team in a place of very high risk, and so there will be a judicial uh, uh, team that will be that will be specialized in that group. Yes, they're familiar with him, but he is not the the main guy in the case. But they will offer security to all the people involved. What about the case? Los autores entregados y también para el fiscal a la corte penal. So they should be. Uh, they're saying that any that they find to be. Um, they want anybody that gets found to be involved be sent to the. Uh, so they're saying that there's 40 groups uh, delinquents that um, they believe that the uh, Mexican justice needs to um, um, what about the Institute of uh, Rome that says that um, 
de la corte they, they want they want them to be judged here because it would take a long time in other places to judge them what about the 43 and the parents of the 43 of Oxinapa can you persuade him to believe more in the version of the procurator than Murillo and the Ex president of Mexico, as I've signaled, all the authorities that were at that time had a function in the days of the acts were going to ask for a rendering of accounts. So the investigation with the same objectives that are done in any investigation, we're going to comply and we're going to take every one of the initiatives of the evidence that comes from the uh, declarations and also previous uh, uh, declarations found in files, and they will be held responsible in front of justice. I want to ask you if you're going to uh, call uh, Murillo Karam, who has been giving, that is uh, defending the historical truth. It's possible that he might be the most informed in this matter of this last six years. But also to ask Alejandro Encinos, how do you take these uh, uh, declaration. He says that they were in Cocula uh, after what you've done. What have you found? As I commented earlier, in the, in the next few weeks, we're going to be uh, putting out the information that he has publicly manifested his disposal to come and to give his declaration in front of us. So he has given his, um, he has said that he volunteers to come give his declaration. And the most important thing about the declarations he has given um, is that he said that at no time did they say all of them were incinerated there? It does not mean a mass murder. It means a, a bad, an element that shows the vulnerability that we've had historically. Ana Gabriela Rojas de la BBC. Ana Gabriela Rojas She wants to clarify. A while ago, the general Hertzman said, but he wrote, they repeated in the media, the fiscal general, that, that they're going to start the investigation from zero. But at the same time, the parents of the students, that there are lines of investigation that clarify this. And on the other part, the information that you already have and that you cannot say for obvious reasons, what, how much confidence do you have that it will be clarified and in what time? The, the district attorney general is, you cannot uh, just, uh, when there's evidence of um, torture by public servants. So when we have the results from this process, of course, we're not only going to put all our effort to this for public and federal investigations. We hope that they will accompany us with these state governments to obtain information and international le level and the United States with the following of the telephone calls from Chicago. And we are going to do all our efforts to find the uh, truth and that there be justice. So hello. Uh, from Central, the Secretary, uh, with these new hypotheses, with these new lines of investigation that the fiscal or district attorney has, 
en estas nuevas diligencias, en estos nuevos procesos que new processes de that you're talking about for search that you're taking for Are they looking for them in life? Is there possible that they're alive? We have said from the beginning, we have two lines of, and we're looking, two lines, we're looking for uh, them alive, and we're also looking for them out of the final arresting place also. He was transferred to so someone they were talk, asking yes uh, someone that was transferred to ask I do not have the results yet uh, regarding the possibility that about 27 have been attributed to the normalists that had, con had continuous uh, there was a uh, recurrent uh, they were look, looked like they were continuously they had 80 million yes um, 80 million calls by telephone that we've been reviewing uh, she's from the the parents were very uh, dissatisfied because at the beginning they've uh, classified it as a kidnapping and how have you identified it as a yes they said So yes, they did a forced disappearance by agents of the Mexican uh, government uh, from Oro Solido. At its time, there was controversy uh, regarding the, uh, how much was given to the uh, representatives of, of uh, human rights and how much was paid to them and what did they tell you and in what condition are they and And are you going to be paying them? And was there any contract signed or agreement signed? And can we know about it? Yes, it's public dominion. We did not contract the specialists. They are done by the uh, Tele-American. Uh, uh, there's other funds. They have to do it with their own mechanism. And they establish the times that they're going to be doing with meeting with a specialist. So the information that they gave you regarding the treatment that they had in, with the previous, they, it's the attitude that the government had previously to them. There will be no limitation for their uh, professional activity. <coughs> Uh, I have a few questions with what you've done in this investigation, according to your calculations, when will we have a concrete response to the parents as to where their children are? As soon as we have it, whenever we have it, we will give it. There is no date. Next, can you give us more information as to who is Alejandro? Yes, he is one of the principal Uh, he is one of the ones that we are looking for and has not been detained. That's the guy they offered $10 million for, for the municipal police. For the district attorney, how important has the information been that they've given you from the local authorities, the ex-president uh, and, and the, the people that were the information that we have now during to investigation, they have already been be here before to give declaration. It's going to be amplification as witnesses. All the information information that they've given us will be crisscrossed with information that is already in the previous files. And part of our job of the district attorney is to analyze all the information, to have declarations that are more complete and more clear regarding the development as uh, functioning officials they had during those days. So either one, uh, he's not sure who's going to be able to answer the district attorney or the uh, secretary. What about the ex-police of Iguala and the people that were involved in the... Uh, 
Si sí, eh, pone en jaque eh, que eh, se so someone is asking o que puedan retirar someone, una declaración toda vez que podrían salir someone that is que already in jail ellos, que they are accusing contra, that, contra, that they were tortured in order to obtain de, the declarations as to where the students were esto sería un escollo This para would las be investigaciones. A, uh, ¿Están ustedes enterados de esto? ¿Lo han seguido? Are you a, y, si aware están, of this, eh, that these pues, people eh, that are in jail that were uh, que tortured, no se, no se uh, vaya a como ocurrió, that they not liberate them like they did with another group of police previously. That these liberations have been watching in the past few days. And that was done pasado, as that we had a request that had been put in. So they've had uh, judicial, uh, the, something about this tribunal that there were irregularities from the detention, the putting at disposition, and the allegations of a torture and bad treatment, which means that there was a series of irregularities and crimes that were done against these people. What it meant was liberty. So that's a consequence of that resolution. What we are doing now is finality to preview to provide um, uh, new, new uh, proof so that we can detail that we consider will reunite uh, significant uh, proof for Ahora, the people that are being accused. Es what we are going to do and what is important that possibly people that have no come out no doesn't mean that they are not excluded to um, rendering accounting in front of justice. Pruebas, what we are doing is getting new uh, evidence to give new uh, uh, if these people that came out are responsible of acts on omissions, they will be called again in order to give an accounting before the tribunal. Are they local, able to be lo uh, located? What we are doing is an investigation. First, we got to do a clear, objective case that is not illicit because that's what was happening in front of that. We'll put our uh, accusations here in Mexico and we will localize them or locate them and put them in, bring them in. What about ex-functioning officials? Uh, that is, like, let's say a little higher, are they going to ask, are they going to be calling Peña Nieto so he can give what he can give? Yes, we've already signaled all those authorities that had a charge in that time. No one is above the law. And if it's necessary from the investigation, it doesn't matter who it is. They will be called before justice. So they were asking if the president, ex-president himself, would be called, and he said yes, anybody. Buenos días, eh, so hello, Eduardo Esquivel, Eduardo Esquivel grupo from the group SDP, SDP analysis, economical analysis. Este, I want to ask, bueno, well, de, first of all, corazón, and I wish with all my heart that they find the, the youth es alive, and I hope that you are fortunate with that and that we all have our bad fortune. What I would like to ask, how, are, how is the federal government planning so that these acts not be repeated? We know that the state of uh, Guerrero is one of the poor impoverished with an Hor tremendous inequality. So what plans are there so that they can stop the violence in that state on behalf of the federal government and the state government and as a social service? And if there are plans to legalize the uh, cultivation of poppy uh, for uh, uh, medical terms because some of these products are being used in the hospitals. 
So what plans are there to stop all this? So the point is we want to find the truth and make justice and stop with impunity. The, the case is paradigmical that has to be a before and after, but it's a state of liberty in our country, and it's very important that we understand in advance in this president, which would be extensive to all the human rights in our country. Regarding the legalization regarding uh, uh, marijuana, and let's remember that there is a reform, legal, that permits the use of medicinal of uh, marijuana, for which we have now uh, permissions with regulated uh, uh, cultivation. It will have to be. Uh, I'm talking about heroin or poppy. Yes, there is a that is being uh, discussed in uh, the Congress. Thank you and hello. With all respect to the parents and their terrible the, uh, pain that they've been feeling, so how large is this machination? How many minds this terrible fat can they conjugate to, to make this a coordinated group? The question is, how large is this mystery and this terrible enigma? And what can we expect? Like a, a commission that was, that was supposed to be, a, like, was able to clarify what happened with Kennedy in 63. So what time does, or how big is the government, how big is the monstrosity of this uh, yes, it's enormous. It transcends even the people that perpetuated these crimes. Here it's a conjugation of all the bad culminations that we've inherited with this corruption, omissions, and the silence that, that uh, society has uh, done. That's why it's important to transcend, to get to the bottom of these acts, because in the this will be the final end to the previous regimen, and it will bring peace to our country. Hello. My name is Mario Humberto Segura from Portal El Sol from Tamaulipas. I feel very solid, have solidarity with the youth of Guantanamo, but I can want to tell you, I am, I, as a citizen from Tamaulipas, I have a lot of uh, uneasiness from the people. As a voice for the people, I want to ask you this special case from Guatzinapa, but in Tamalipa we have thousands of people that have disappeared. What is happening with this situation in Tamalipa? There has been a few days, and I want to tell you, because I'm with a fourth transformation, we have to signal things that are not well so that you can be correcting them. A few days ago, I asked the president, and I, uh, with his, what is happening in Buena Vista, uh, from municipality of Hidalgo, and I appreciate, I appreciate I've been working with the, uh, Alejandro, and I told him that I did not want to confront anybody like the previous government, that they say, yeah, 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 everything's good, and then they don't do anything. So the new president said something. He did not know of this situation. And I asked myself, why? Why did the president not know? But if you and Tamaulipas and several authorities, we've actually told you personally what is happening since a few months ago. But if the president is not aware, then there's two things. If he's aware, he lied to me. And if he's not aware, then you are not functioning. And this is bad. 
because peace, justice for the peace. In that place, there is no peace and there is no justice. So I would like to know what is happening. And I have another matter because I'm a, a newspaper man. From uh, 2012, I was I was uh, kidnapped, and I have I was I have been uh, a protection because there's a lot of people that have been from the. I was the first uh, newsman that was in the uh, protective act. So, uh, uh, so defenders of uh, rights which has two elements that are efficient. In my case, does not advance from 2012 to this date. They, I have a ministry for five months has not even read my file. And like that, there's a lot of cases. If they don't resolve mine, which was in 2012, can you imagine, Mr. President, how are they going to resolve the current cases? The fiscals or district attorneys were not against them, but they have a lot of work. So there's two points I would like to address and be told. What is going to be happening? Because today in October, I'm going to be meeting with the district attorney because they say that he does not order the investigation. And he says they can't go to Tamaulipas because they're afraid. But I live there. So we are all there afraid to be there. So I would like for you to help me with this. I like these questions because, because uh, no matter what you answer, you are wrong. But there's there's not two questions, there's three. Uh -huh. Yes, we have talked with you and the people that are affected in the, we have con permanent contact. And due to the instructions, we are doing the follow-up. Uh, like the president said in the past, uh, we are very close. And the mechanism, yes, we are redesigning the uh, to that will be on the 1st of October. Uh, we're in phases. And regarding the official district attorney, he will have to give that uh, in response regarding that. Buenos días, Presidente Rafael Herrera, corresponsal de Sin Censura, so Rafael Herrera. Especial. Um, de Chicago. ¿Hay you're speaking of Chicago. Chicago. Are there people implicated in Chicago? Or is there more implicated? Have you already uh, found other responsible parties? And is there a, 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 a um, so someone was talking about a forced disappearance by the state of the Mexican government. What information do you have in the U.S.? Or what information is crossing and at what levels? And what are you giving this level? Are you giving this information? Yes, there is a process, a uh, process open with Guerreros Unidos in the United States. And we're redefining this in the phase. Something happened last week that allows us, so they're saying uh, this is not the case that we're having, is they're, they're participating as protected uh, groups and, and, and they're being protected in that country. They're witnesses. I want to let you know the commitment of the uh, government and the community for uh, as the president has been told us we are not going to stop until we find justice and the truth. So as an epilogue of this of this information, I want to say that there is um, a will of the government and the republic to clarify these acts, to know the truth, and to find the youth, and 
haya justicia. That there be justice. Tenemos we have una gran ventaja. a great advantage. No, eh, hay impunidad. There is no impunity. Eso that is, es is very important. Porque cuando se trata de crímenes de Estado, when it becomes to crimes of state, es muy difícil it is very difficult llegar a la verdad. to get to the truth. Sí. Yes. Se mantiene they maintain el acuerdo an agreement de que impere la versión they del Estado. They want the uh, version of the state to be uh, emperor. No impunidad, but if there's no impunity eh, or rule, you know, el then the whole government of, and the Republican state of Mexicans eh, actúa acts para los hechos. to know the uh, acts or the, the truth de of the behaviors. Como we speak of how they are participating ejército. with the army or the military. They are participating, all of them, all the institutions. Y no hay and there is no obstacle para con in order to count with uh, investigators, investigators observers, international observers. observers. We have open a door policy to the country Para, in order eh, to help to clarify este this matter. Y yo and I take advantage of this opportunity to let you a uh, call out eh, to those that have any information sobre este caso. regarding this matter. Que nos Please help us. Que como lo Alejandro, like Alejandro Encinas, mentioned Encinas, it is more than de un simple a simple ilícito, illicit act de un of a crime. Es un it's a matter fundamental that's para fundamental la justicia, for justice for respect humanos, to human rights para el for the strengthening, strengthening of the americano. institutions of the Mexican states Sería una gran it would be a great contribution el que se ayude that they help that someone helps a saber el to know de los where the uh, young people wound up Anyone that knows Algo, something, no solo not only esta will they have material, their uh, material uh, financial gain, but it will also be a service orden, of país, number one uh, uh, order y, to the help of Mexico. Eh, de and our commitment to protect those that inform to give them financial um, gain and uh, protect them y and also si se requiere, if it is required ayudarlos. we will help them si están implicados. if they are implicated Yo sostengo que I sustain that sin perdón without forgiveness es um, más difícil it is more difficult hacer realidad la justicia to make justice a reality Digo, I say this no, or do I forget no. or not 
Forget not, yes, but forgive, yes. Y que nos ayuden. And that they help us. Este es un mensaje para This is a message los que for those that surely saben. know Hay. there are que saben. many that know. Y por eso tengo And for that reason I am confident that we will find the truth. We will know the truth. El que informe, and the one that informs tiene toda la will have all the protection del of the state. Toda la del all the protection of the state. Todo el all the support de el from the government. Por eso, and that is why no las I do not lose the hope Estoy optimista. I am optimistic. Creo que vamos I believe a that we are going to darles, eh, buenas noticias a give, you, give good news to the family members. No lo I do not uh, discard no that. Me doy por I do not feel that I have been uh, Al Creo que vamos a that I have lost. On the contrary, I feel that we are going to do it. We're going to get to the truth. Why? Insisto, Because I insist si no that if there is no protection, si no hay if there is no complicity, si no if there is no controversy de las from the authorities with those that participated hechos, in these acts, se tiene que saber. Then it has to be known. El que estemos aquí. The, the fact that we are here informing you. Pues demuestra eso. It demonstrates that. ¿Qué hubiese pasado? What would have happened? Si hubiese If there had been ganado if uh, someone if the other candidate would have won any other candidate would he be opening reopening the investigation would he be uh, re starting the investigation attending to the matter so therefore Yes, eh, vamos a poder, we are going eh, to be able to a la get Soy to the truth. I am optimistic and I want to appreciate all your support and, of course, our afecto, afe uh, affection padres, and madres, sincerely to the parents of the, child, of the young people. No hay, eh, There is no limitations ni materiales. No, materially. Es decir, That is to say, no faltan recursos. There is no lack of resources. Dada, dada la instrucción I have given the instruction that participe todo el gobierno, the todos government los recursos, uh, participate with all the resources Alejandro necessary. Alejandro is counting on all the support que se requiere, that is required y felicitar a quienes and están to, trabajando and to uh, congratulate en, those that are working el de estos in the clarification of these acts and to general, uh, appreciate very much to the está, attorney general eh, that is working hard and we have confidence to the district attorney general and the fiscal general for this Um, the person assigned to this case and I have the commitment with the parents and we're meeting periodically every two to three months I'm going to have a meeting here with them in order to evaluate to be evaluating and I do not want that they be meetings 
from the whole government or for the whole six years. I want them to be a few so we can find each other and like in the communities maybe out there with this case already resolved and this matter is resolved and we will all together be following this case so thank you very much um, th this is the case of Aksenapa and we'll continue with it with this matter and if, now if you would like we'll open up um, open up the general if there's nothing pending do you have a list <laughs> he says, I'm just accustomed to standing. You go ahead and sit down. Carlos? Pozos. Adelante. Jefe del Estado Mexicano, Carlos Pozos, reportero de Petróleo y Energía. He's um, Carlos Pozos from uh, Ener uh, Energía. Primero una denuncia. First La to de, uh, de de Pemex, regarding the finances de of um, Pemex, there's corruption. Esto se lo digo, this I tell you, Mr. Mr. President, Tabasco, because I was in Villahermosa, Tabasco, this, um, I found uh, businessmen that have said that in the banking uh, session, that in, uh, in order for the companies, they are only letting their friends get in, and they have a black market so that they can get paid quickly for providers for um, Pemex which is 10 to 20 percent so that they can so you can know about the situation that is happening mr president we'll investigate that and we'll inform you and we will inform everyone that is the commitment my first question mr president in the year 1960, uh, Mexico lived in a historical moment. The 1st of September of that year, of that time, Adolfo López announced uh, the, the nationalization of the electrical industry, where at that time he supported the the coming of them. The government took the infrastructure the 27th of uh, September. Yesterday would have been, next year, tomorrow will be 59 days, uh, years since the uh, electric industry They've given, they've given more than a thousand permits for privatization and the 11th of 2009 they gave the state of liquidation of a light with they let go 44,000 uh, workers as a result of this dismantling of the uh, electric sector. Actually, the public, now the uh, public sector only per, does, does 56 percent of the electricity. But those that were uh, get given away our electricity are part of the accounting of uh, now part of the Calderón and ex-secretary Helsina Kessel and Ernesto Martins, Federico Canales Clarion that were involved in selling and giving away this um, property and now they're they're in Verdola Energy and as a result the leader Martin Esparza Flores, he was the leader, uh, became the, the leader uh, of the business. And how much time will all the Mexicans have electric energy? And do you consider that we have allowed to stop living in the uh, darkness of history? We are fortifying. 
tanto a Pemex como Pemex a la Electric Commission. Y vamos a and we are going to rescue these two companies which are fundamental. Y, eh, and lo principal the principal es, thing eh, is that de to clean them eso, out of corruption. So yes, your first part eh, uh, announcement will be attended to. Y yo and, and I celebrate that, that you uh, signal these people out, even though, even without having proof or evidence, este, solid proof, si hay if there's initiations of uh, corruption, you need to let us know. You need y, to let someone know. Eh, la and the authority va a will inform Si if elementos they no. exist Pero evidence, mejor. but it's better la that you let people know, Sobre todo en este caso. especially in this case. Por eso, and that is why zero corruption, zero, corruption, zero impunity, zero impunity. Y que nos and whoever helps us para que no haya so that there will not be corruption, not even in Pemex or the Electrical Commission, en el nor in the government. El caso de the case of the privatizations pues they came to this failure de la política of political economica, economics el que en efecto hace that which in effect made, has been 20 or 25 years the Federal Commission of Electricity used to be a company Eficaz, that, that was efficient, exitosa, that was um, doing well, que, eh, that eh, was enough for the whole country. Campaña, and all of a sudden, they started this campaign de que talking about how luz, we were going to run out of electricity and that the Federal Commission had no resources, nor the country, and that we needed to privatize. That they did a little before with uh, telephones in Mexico, the same way. They did this whole campaign that, oh, our service was so bad of telephones. They did it afterwards with the airlines. And they even had protests from Mexican uh, and Aeromexico. And at the end of it, so they, now we have no airlines from the uh, public sector because they sold them. And the same thing with the telephones of Mexico and the banks. And they advanced a lot in the privatization of the electric company. And we've talked about this here before. And now we've stopped that type of politics. It does not, that is not our uh, politics that we apply now. We no longer have privatization. We are respecting the contracts that have been subscribed to uh, previously because we want to act in a responsible way, but we will not continue to give contracts or concessions from public uh, services to privatize. Look for it in the dictionary. It means to convert that which is public into something private. That politics, no more. It will not be continued to be imposed on Mexico.
and we are recovering PEMEX and the electric company and we're doing very well in both cases and we're doing it with the support of the workers of PEMEX and electrical and the support of the technicians for example in the case of the Federal Commission of Electricity we have increased the generation here uh, it was explained by the en engineer Morales Mar only due to the politics of maintenance which was not being applied the purpose was to, to close all the plants from the Federal Commission of Electricity in order to they could advance this with the control of the market the, the private industry the pri uh, uh, private companies and if they had continued with the same politics at the end of this six year term they, it would not be 54-46 the proportion it would have been it would, have, it would be 75% private and 25 commission federal. So they would have practically liquidate the federal commission. And that has been halted. And now we are fortifying investing in the federal commission of electricity. So therefore, to say to the people that we will not have a shortage uh, electric energy and it's secured and we will not increase the price of electricity in real terms they've indexed the price of light to inflation if inflation is 3% annually that will be the increase in the payment of electricity. And now it was an inflation in a period I believe they told me since August in 15 days 2.99% and that's the lowest in a period in three years. So it's below three inflation. So that is the amount that they will add only. And in the case of the salaries, it will never be below the increase under inflation. It always will be above it, above inflation. So you will not be short of electricity and you will not have increases in the tariffs from uh, electric energy. Two, about two days ago here we had, uh, had someone that came from Nayarit and they did uh, some kind of a request that yesterday we resolved it regarding the tariffs of electric energy in Nayarit. What she proposed, that they were tariffs that were high. Now they've come to an agreement with the government of the state of Nayarit, the Federal Commission of Electricity. The chief of the nation. It hasn't been... Uh, it being that the uh, Senate had approved the general approved education. They said that education went to the trash. Is it the general law of uh, education? Is this the uh, crown jewel? Will this give us space for the new uh, education of the future? Let's see if we could. I would like, these are the best. 
profesionales these professionals of the communication no solo técnicos, también. not only technicians also a lo mejor encontramos la carta perhaps we can find the letter Mateos. from Adolfo Lopez Mateo when the nationalization la of the industry eléctrica. of the electrical Vamos industry you will see what a letter a ver si este, alguien pasa Let's see if someone passes and reads it. Este, la ponemos en pantalla. And we'll put it on the screen. Meaning, look at how, how a good president behaved. We'll look at it right now. But first, regarding the reform of education, we've already talked, was an advancement. Always there's a opposition. Speaking of uh, President López Mateos, he, he initiated with the uh, delivery of the text, and the conservatives of that time didn't want it. They didn't want to give the textbooks to the children. And they gained establishing the textbooks free to the people. So we were children at that time, and we started to get these in the, in the town, these books. When President López Mateo was in a, a office, so every time there's a reform, there's opposition that is uh, uh, part of democracy. And now they're not happy, those that had supported the reform previously that was also in different circumstances that reform that was approved in the previous government is part of the agenda that they imposed on Mexico from the foreign countries it's part of the structural uh, reform that was imposed upon us. This is a whole story. If you do the investigation, you will know and find that the uh, politics, neoliberal politics, was being imposed on other countries from from the uh, from international organizations, from the entrails. So the agenda they applied in Mexico for 30 years or more was coming and being sent from outside. They started with these letters of intention, where they uh, they took advantage of Mexico that was in crisis, had fallen into crisis in the 80s. They started to condition the supports that they apply in Mexico a determined type of politics and they had to sign these letters of intention in order to get let Mexico get obtain credit financing and that's how it began and then they generalized this agenda and then they started defining the fiscal politics, the uh, labor, uh, energy, the politics for education 
en esa agenda. In that agenda. Entonces, eh, nosotros ya no vamos a so then we are not going to do that anymore. We're not going to follow that agenda. agenda. Les recuerdo porque a I veces remind you because sometimes se da la información you give the information y no se internaliza. And it's not internalized. O hay otras cosas. Or there are other things. Pero But se definió el cambio They defined the change claridad. with lots of clarity el programa de desarrollo, en el plan de desarrollo in the program of development que se presentó al Congreso. that was presented to Congress. Si ustedes leen If you ese read that plan de desarrollo, plan of development, ya no tiene nada que ver it no longer has anything to do con los de with the plans of development from the previous ones. Now it's a new politics la que se está that is being Entonces, applied. Yo espero yes, I que, expect eh, that it be understood that the previous reform, uh, educational reform no will not was not bettering education sino, but instead eh, it was polarizing it was causing confrontations y no and it was not bettering the quality you can show leer? can you, someone read that because <laughs> he reads slow oh he says you don't need glasses si la carta de Adolfo López Mateos a la patria escrita el 27 de septiembre de 1960 en el acto de nacionalización de la industria eléctrica it was 1960 uh, regarding the uh, pueblo de México people of Mexico les devuelvo la energía eléctrica I'm returning to you de la nación, to, uh, no to you pero no se confíen porque en en años futuros, okay, this algunos is interesting. mexicanos identificados okay. con las peores causas del país. Okay, this is very interesting. He's saying, dear people of Mexico, I am returning to you the electric company, which exclusive is exclusive property of Mexico. But please don't get overconfident, because in the future, there's going to be some elements. País from country that will intend by you to, they will attempt to give again the petroleum y a los and our resources to investors. Ni un paso atrás fue la... To foreign investors. Let's not take a single step backwards. Consigna de Don Lázaro Cárdenas del Río. Alna. Because it's by consignment of um, Lázaro Cárdenas. I don't know why this this makes me so upset. That that these companies have ripped off our country, have ripped off Mexico so and that they've allowed it to happen. <laughs> they want to nationalize our petroleum. And they want to turn the electric energy into a fortune. People of Mexico, I forgive you of any uh, uh, governing uh, Uh, of in the future that will be trying to give our natural resources to foreign uh, investors that is for the nation that we form one uh, obvious thing is that Mexico requires lots of evolution and technical knowledge y una eficiencia administrativa para lograr nuestra independencia energética. and a uh, administrative efficiency in order to gain our uh, electrical independence yeah. our energy. Que no de la capacitación tecnológica 
it would be silly uh, to say that Mexico does not require uh, assistance with uh, technical energy. Materia eléctrica y petrolera. With petroleum and electric uh, matters. Y para ello, and ningún this, extranjero necesita convertirse en accionista de las empresas públicas. And for that, no foreigner needs to become um, a delegate for for uh, foreign investors Para apoyarnos. to support Solo us. Un traidor entrega su Only a trader would turn over tu país a los their country to foreign uh, people. Los Mexicanos podemos hacer todo mejor que cual Mexicans can do everything better than anyone <laughs> otro país. any other country. Un extranjero me pregunta si hay posibilidad when a uh, foreign uh, government asks me if there's a possibility de los o a la to come into the business of energy resources and electricity, que de la that we are s barely starting to uh, become independent Las from foreign invasions nos en el país. that emptied out our country. Continue. Yes, there is more. <laughs> so he's got to look it up. There's a paragraph that I think is the one that follows. He says, you read it. You read it. But as to the Mexicans, in Mexico, the Constitution is very clear if we want to invest. So that the electric and petro uh, petroleum resources are Petuidad, propiedad única y exclusiva del pueblo mexicano. that belong exclusively to the people of Mexico. El resto de las especulaciones al respect the rest of speculations respecting that son una traición, son traición a la patria. are traitorous behavior to our country. Industrializar el país no implica una subasta pública to Industrialize our country does not mean public auction of our natural resources or to give away our inheritance that belongs to our country. Wow. Yes, there's the response. But you can see that was Lopez Mateos. Well, thank you. And he was very respected as a president. When he came, when President Kennedy came, he, he gave a treatment of much respect. And he brought him as a gift, among other things. A, a recording from Presidente Juárez, which they had in the United States. And I found that picture that was engraved. And I have it in my office from that visit. He was a good president of Mexico. He was a good president of Mexico. Like I would say, like also Cortines, Adolfo, and then of course, Lázaro Cárdenas. But then others, you know, each one had their, you can have their opinion on the others. So next. Ah, bueno, aquí está. So here it is, the list. 
Pedro. Presidente Arturo Páramo, Grupo Imagen, secretario, subsecretario. Fiscal, uh, from Grupo compañeros. Imagen. Eh, ayer en el Senado Yesterday, de la República se frenó una the, vez más la discusión uh, sobre la revocación del mandato. The, uh, la oposición puso the, varios peros um, y eh, se hicieron también propuestas. Mandate, Primero que el presidente no tendría la facultad de convocar the, a una revocación de mandato. Sería that eh, the president would not be able to revoke mandation. That it would have to be a petition from the people. And that the INE and the local electoral. So, what is your opinion? Does it continue to the revocation of mandate? What do you think about this new delay? I don't know what they're afraid of from the opposition. I say it in a respectful way. In democracy, it's the people that decides, the people put removes. It's a right that is established in the Constitution. The people has in any moment the right to change the form of its government. That is established in the Constitution. That is the essence of democracy participative. So what we want to leave established is that that via the revocation of mandate, the citizen can then Maintain or remove an authority. That is a fundamental element of democracy. So first, that they not be consulting the same day of the election. They asked me why I presented the initiative. Yes, that's fine. Get that ahead. Ask them ahead. Ask the people on the 21st. And I even proposed that on the Sunday, the 21st of uh, March, no. No, that's not the election. It has to be before the election. So then I said, what about after of the election? After the 21st. And they, they didn't accept that either. So regarding the election, that is being organized by INE, that's, there's no problem. I don't oppose myself to that. And if they don't solicit it, the president, the president or who does not have a right to solicit the president in turn, let it be the citizens also. The only thing I'm going to ask the people is help that there be a democracy that's participative. Organize yourselves and you ask for it. And there. But the important part is that there be revocation of mandate because the people does not need to tolerate so much time with a bad authority. So you elect them for six years. So by three years, don't you already know if they are good or no good? Why give them more time? So now, if it didn't work, we've devoted, uh, he's dedicated himself to stealing. He doesn't work. He's authoritarian. He's a repressor. 
There's a procedure that's legal, that's democratic, and a consult, and then the revocation of mandate. And, the, and then this, what if the citizen says, I want him to stay in place? No, he has to go. That's the best there, thing there could be. Because if not, they've elected me. Now, they're going to have to tolerate me. Why? They are, if they're acting... With very little reflection, these legislators that are opposing this, because this is, should not be, should be a, not be a motive to revoke the initiative. The other thing is to ask them that they now resolve regarding the, the consult, the citizen consult, that, that if there is a, a, a request or complaint, say, for example, today, they don't want there to be an airport. But instead of putting all these sabotages, legal sabotages, if there is a consult and, and the Article 35 permits it of the Constitution, that's why the reform, you can get together signatures and they accredit him and then you ask the people. In democracy, the people are rulers. The people decide. And that is also what we need. And it is there. It's being detained. And I also take the opportunity to tell you that, first of all, to appreciate because they approved the secondary laws and now, last time, they informed me that, that they had approved it, but then it wasn't true. But now they did. They did approve them. And I want to appreciate the legislator, all those that voted in favor, even the ones that um, voted against, because we have a legal uh, area that is necessary and important for the tranquility so that there would not be uncertainty and to appreciate and to remind them that we have pending regarding prohibition of condoning of uh, taxes the reform of 28 constitutional which is very important that we have pending that on uh, com, uh, making a, a, a grave crime fa um, fabrication of false documents of a uh, phantom uh, companies, and we've been doing an analysis, and we calculate that they evade, or they, that it, it causes us not to have 500 million pesos due to the use of these uh, false documentations. It's a thievery that's all over, No. uncontrolled, unabated, no thievery. No, not. It's, it's being este, viewed by all. Y eso está ahí pendiente. And that is pending, sí. que ojalá that hopefully they will approve it sh uh, shortly, Porque eso nos va a ayudar because mucho. that will help us very much. Si, eh, no hay if, if there is no fiscal defrauding, in Hacienda uh, will become uh, strengthened, and there won't be any reason 
uh, our motive to increase taxes. or even to decrete increased taxes or indebt the country. Only we need to end uh, fiscal privileges that we all contribute, that we all pay our taxes. That is what we plan. The same in the case of corruption. If there's no corruption, then of course the budget will be enough. One that stayed pending since yesterday in the uh, uh, Sea of Cortez, they started the initiating the uh, uh, fishing from these areas. So putting at risk the uh, little um, marine orca, it has to do, after nine months of gestation, they have not offered them, and they haven't lifted the uh, stop, of, and they haven't compensated them due to the stop of um, activity and fishing. So they've started fishing, putting at risk the, um, the small uh, marine orca. Yes, we're implementing uh, uh, a program for the zone that includes a protection for species that are in uh, extinction and the support for the fishermen. We are working on that, a program that's integral where they participate, various institutions the uh, environmental pesca, fishing depends de, eh, on agriculture eh, luego, and of course the Secretary of Well-being the Secretary de Marina, of Marines se va a and pretty soon we will inform you regarding this matter but they sí, say they have eso, not yes we're working on that eso. Yes. We also are cleaning everything. There was a lot of corruption. So first, we have to resolve all that, that the money gets to them well. Because look at this. This year, we have run with Porque luck hemos, because we had not had problems with that effect, huracanes, hurricanes, no ha casos there haven't de, been cases de of emergencies. Eh, ha sido un It año, has been a year that we would say with a very little natural phenomenon. But even so, there was the bad custom that before the rains, which of course affects, there was a declaration of emergency, or two or three or four or five or 10 or 20 or 100. Because that meant utilizing money from a purse that they could buy uh, uh, different things that they wanted to buy. And there was corruption in that management of these funds. It was a little bit like the Uh, the expenses of the national security. Perhaps that's where we have the graphics of of the declaration of emergency and the expenses by year to compare with the declarations of uh, emergency of this year and the expenses of this year. Because there 
there was, you know, I am not talking about another matter. I'm talking about that example of how they supposedly helped. Supposedly they helped. But it could not be more clear than a tree. Look how much money they took. That's the declarations of emergency. Look, per year, 152, 102. There's some that are less. The seismic year. And then, and then we've identified the hurricanes, which were strong. And that's why I spoke that we've had uh, been fortunate this year. But you can see, if you put on the other um, slide regarding the money, and look at the expense, and you can see what they took, how many millions of dollars. Wow, that's thousands of millions of dollars. See, that's miles de pesos, or, oh, pesos, I'm sorry. So that's 42,877 mil, million pesos in uh, 2017. 14, 554 million. Is it clear now? Of course it was a business. It wouldn't get to the people. Well, they would get a very little part. And the rest they would steal. The majority of it. They would purchase like some kind of proof. They had favorite people. They would, they would devote themselves to this. So all of these things, we're fixing it. It's like the case of the medications, all of it. So yes, there will be support for the fishermen, but we want it to get to them in a direct way. For example, so he's asking something about that. Yes, functionaries and the construction companies and the providers. That's who was getting the money. So they basically just kept the money and did none of the repairs. So now I was remembering some of the businesses that they had where they uh, they promoted even via media uh, communication media they would pay in order to to pressure the government and try to pressure the government that we seed to uh, give resources to determinated action. So no, not that anymore. Here I clarify that we've had lots of luck and I hope that it, we end the year this way. But this we won, we made, uh, we had done so that you could see that so that the whole world asks for declaration of emergency. And it doesn't get, the support doesn't get to the right people. And yes, we have to support. In the case of, of, of Willa, at the end of 28, that affected a lot 
No, ya ni. Yeah, we gave them. Y este se reconstruyeron pueblos. And they reconstructed towns. Tuxpan. En Tuxpan. Se trabajó en Tecuala. And they en worked in pueblos. Tecuala, in other towns. Pero but los gastos. But the expenses. There is a, a slide regarding the hurricane, recent hurricane, that fortunately did not produce any uh, human death in Lorena. Let's see if we have that slide. So where it is required, we will support. Pero era una práctica, pues. But it was a practice then. Lo mismo en el caso de the same in the in the case of um, drought. Era, este, a ver, they would say, uh, well, there's a, a special o, program or eh, resources, special resources to organize our organizations o gobiernos. or governments. Y eso lo estamos cuidando. And that we're being cautious with. Si no, no. Because otherwise. Mate. So is there complaints? El, el que me dio el informe. Uh, regarding que, the information. Eh, por ejemplo, lo de la de México, For example, the state of Mexico. Que había ya en la that there was demands in the fiscal. De is there more demands sí, regarding sí, hay, these hay, um, de deviations de, of funds? But this is, for example, very concrete, Lorena. Sí, este está por es en general, pero in general, but you can see by state. Ah, sí, sí. Yes, it's by state. una de uno. Chapas, one out of one. Yes, here it's authorized. Uh, five um, out of five uh, requests um, and two out of five have been resolved and 20 are pending in uh, Sonora. No, I don't see it there. I don't know what they asked him. Yes, we are helping. Yes, the states help. We're talking about the budget, federal budget. Okay, very well. We'll see each other tomorrow. And we've talked enough for today. And we'll see each other tomorrow. What is something about abortion? So they had a contract that they won. How are you going to resolve this dilemma? Are you going to take away... Let the office check the Secretary of Public Function. Let them determine. So the company won, but, but in any case, let them emit a dictation from the Secretary for Public Function. That there not be not even a suspicion. You need to be and look like you are honest. Let it all be clear, clarified, all of it. And it doesn't matter who it deals with. And let the public function emit their dictation. Uh, have you no. talked about that matter? No. no. I didn't even know. So now I'm finding out. What about what happened last time regarding the complex thing? No, I did not talk to him about it. Yes, that time I did talk to him. I had communication with that, but I haven't talked with him again regarding these matters. And now I'm finding out of this situation that the Secretary of Public Function, let them inform you 
And I repeat, zero corruption, zero, corruption, zero impunity. All of us have to behave well. So they, they made an observation that there were certain businessmen in good faith. They said, how is it a um, grave crime of double or false uh, documentation or phantom uh, companies or uh, fiscal defrauding, uh, which is uh, evasion of taxes, Article 19 of the Constitution. So then I reviewed it. And I'm uh, taking advantage because, no, I was going to give you a point of view regarding this. And I made a review. It's a procedure. It has to do with SAT. Because they talk about a detention that's preventative that will take into account or take place after after going through several uh, departments. No, it's not fast track. It's not like they told me with all respect that SAT would, would declare it that someone was utilizing false documentation and then immediately they would go to the judge and then to the, to the can, but no, it's not like that. The SAT will present the complaint with evidence to the district attorney. And before that, the presumptuous delinquent or presumptive delinquent has to clarify things, his situation legally. He has a possibility of resorting to authorities and to uh, uh, show his evidence, and he has that right to be listened to and attended to. But after that, it'll go to the uh, district attorney, uh, uh, and then they have to document they have to have the evidence. And then the, the district attorney sends it to the, uh, to the general district attorney. And there, the minister, public minister, uh, uh, district attorney, will have to call the parts and then there's presentation of evidence. It's a process. If there is truly a crime because they were actually false documents, then it goes to the judge. If the judge decides that there is a crime, then he goes forth. So the person that would go to jail and they would initiate the process. So he has a right to uh, stay. So there's a whole it's a whole uh, route, legal way, completely. So what do I say to those that that are preoccupied or not happy with this situation. Well, I say to them, that article number 19 of the Constitution has been reformed. And it applies for corrupt people. And it applies for people uh, involved in uh, stealing gas. It applies for money laundering. It applies for all. So therefore, don't be worried. It's just a matter of behaving well. 
si nos portamos bien, if we behave well, si no somos corruptos, and if we are not corrupt, si no defraudamos, if we don't defraud, si este no nos if dedicamos we a do not dinero, devote ourselves to laundering money, por así que no hay nada then there's que nothing temer. to be fearful of. Y es parejo. And it's even Porque across no es the board. Because it is not possible that that procedure of converting these crimes into grave se a be applied to some no. and not to others. Imagínese Imagine un a, a person stealing gas recogen, that, uh, that take you know, to let you know esto, because this eh, no llega a saberse, sometimes it's not known pero el que, but that one that eh, llena un bidón that fills a, de 20 a, litros, a 20 liter uh, container de gasolina, of gasoline es ese procedimiento. is the same procedure y no, and there will eh, not be any right to es bail. Grave. It is a grave crime. Entonces, para so I take advantage decir, to explain it to you that it's changed. Ya, Now, eh, no se puede, you cannot eh, be permitting este tipo de this conductas. type Todos of conduct. We ayudar. all have to help. Por eso, la And that is has, why the question you are asking me no se puede tener cannot have a political authority si no hay moral. if you ha don't have moral authority. Entonces, so therefore, no hay there is no impunity nadie. for anyone. Entonces, so es not even for este, eh, el sumario, the judgment, a uh, summary judgment, the accusation without foundation eh, de la de las to personas, affect the dignity of the people. No. no. No, pero este, sí que hacer But la yes, we do have to make public pública, life more public, transparent. Vamos a con la Let's corrupción. end with corruption. Eso nos va a That will help us tremendously. Hace unos días salió una a few years ago, we had a few days ago, we had an inquest regarding perception. Me decían And they used to say to me that they were surprised from the foreign countries los que este that encuesta, those that applied to this inquest por los resultados, due to the results de que ya nos that mejor, now they qualify as better en cuanto when it comes to no hay that there is no corruption que se, like eh, antes, they had before que se or that was perceived before. Entonces, esto nos ayuda mucho. So this Ayer helps us very much. Banqueros. And yesterday I was with bankers. Y independientemente And independently de que siempre from eh, hablan that they always talk antes más before de estado de derecho. of the state of right. Les importa mucho eso. They're very uh, interested in that, that they, they guarantee legalization and legality that there be an authentic state of rightness. Bueno, pero eso ya pasó But that has already happened plan. to second plan. Ya no me dicen, Now they don't ask me este, uh, si if, va a a if there's guarantees to investments. No, no, no they don't ask me este, none of that. Dudando de eso. They don't even ya doubt that. They already know that that there is legal. Están um, bien they are well informed of that. Y And they decir, come to say que that they have confidence in the government porque, because eh, se ha, eh, la we have taken the decision de la of combating corruption. O sea, eso nos that ayuda mucho. has helped us very much Hasta en even in matters that have to do with, with economy and finances. Entonces, sí es so yes, it is important no not to permit a nadie anyone Acts of corruption. Acts of corruption. So And so we are going to finish cleaning the government completely of corruption. Mañana, And we'll see each other tomorrow. Thank you. Wow. Oh my gosh. Every time I see this, um, uh, 
every time I see, I see the president talk, I am so impressed by uh, what what he has to say. And um, today um, they talked about the um, young people that are missing, and that's why they were all wearing gray shirts, uh, t-shirts. It was given to them by the family members of the missing uh, 43 students and young people that have been missing for five years. Today was the anniversary of that. And uh, they're working very hard uh, towards finding them and they're even offering a reward. Um, they're looking for one of the main people that um, that was involved and there's a uh, 10 million uh, peso uh, a reward and then there's another million and a half uh, for information uh, anyone leading the information to finding either the young people alive or dead they don't know whether they're dead or alive yet of course everybody thinks that after five years but you know there's other people that have been found after many years still alive so it's possible that they're alive somewhere and we're hopeful um, also, um, there was talk about how um, these uh, previous um, presidents have given away many of the uh, things that belong to the people to private corporations, and um, um, that really bothers me. because there is no end to the uh, these corporations that are stealing from the people and putting them in such a situation of not being able to afford to survive. They rip them off in every possible way. And he mentioned a few today education they privatized education they privatized electricity they sold all they only got to sell 20 percent of the uh, uh refineries and uh, uh petroleum but they were by the end of this year they would have sold probably 75 percent gotten rid of and kept the money all these uh political officials and he also mentioned that if he hadn't gone into office, would they have reopened the case of these 43 missing children, which the uh, government was putting a lot of stumbling blocks into finding them. Um, there's also, he gave evidence of how they were um, uh, using a nat nat uh, natural disasters in order to... Uh, uh, divert funds and they never got to the people so the people are still waiting for many of those natural disasters they never got the funds they never had things rebuilt they still don't have their homes they're still homeless and the government officials and uh, companies that that uh, got this, these funds just kept the money and left the people um, in circumstances that uh, are inhumane and so this last part he was talking about, they mentioned that one of, uh, when they were doing the uh, bidding for the companies, paper companies that would uh, be providing the paper for the books, a guy that uh, was um, the, like, compadre, which means that he baptized his daughter, had gotten a contract for the paper but he asked them to defer because he didn't want it to look bad that um that it might look like it was done as a, as a um favor like you know to make it look like there was some impropriety so he requested from him to to let go of that contract and he did in order to uh but he had gotten it legitimately and the president um asked him to please not not go forth with that contract and now again they mentioned that he had bid on another contract and he got it and he said look I had no knowledge of that let them go before the um, 
the authorities and discuss it and look into it and if there was any impropriety then you can go after him because I'm not covering for him but I didn't know about it and he's not going to make him lose another contract just because he knows him um, he is a uh, person that is um, well known for doing uh, good jobs and um, just because they know him doesn't mean that they're not going to be in a situation where they are no longer uh, going to be able to do their business. So he said, yeah, you look into it. Um, and if I didn't have the moral authority um, by keeping honest with these things, then I wouldn't have the moral authority to fight corruption. So anyway, that's where it ended. But this was also a very good uh, meeting. And um, if you want to sit through it, it is quite long. It is two and a half hours long. Uh, but um, it is very uh, full of information. And um, uh, it makes me sad that, that uh, foreign governments, and I do believe a big part of it is <laughs> U.S. related, um, is taken advantage of the Mexican people and uh, involved in acquiring a lot of the, uh, you know, paying the bribes and all that in order to acquire some of the things that belong to the people like the energy and education and all that. But uh, I'm not involved in it for the politics. I'm involved in it because I want what is right to be done for the Mexican people. And also for the American people, I think that we need to um, pay attention to uh, what these companies are doing and how they are controlling us and how they're letting um, our things that belong to us be taken away like they were in Mexico. And all of the um, Latin American countries are watching. If you notice in Peru and Spain and uh, different parts of uh, South America and Central America, they're paying attention to what's happening in Mexico because they can see that there is a possibility of combating corruption and getting rid of these companies that are coming in and stealing and, and looting the countries using these uh, uh, documents that they had the government sign in order to help them out financially, which force them to use these plans that would uh, liberate them of all their um, all the things that they had in their country all the wealth of the country but anyway I've got an appointment I gotta go and um, I hope that uh, you get something out of this thank you very much have a great day